All right, so Black Clover Chapter 296, the unofficial release, is out. And we finally get some more lore about Asia Silva. Some very interesting info dump about her character and also Noelle's new weapon, which is crazy. <laughs> and I'm just really excited to talk about this chapter. However, if you have not read the chapter yet and you need a link to the chapter, join my Discord. The link for that will be in the comment section. Once you join my Discord, you go to the Black Clover spoiler section, go to the pinned comment, and you will see the chapter link there. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notification bells on and leave a like on this video. Let's go for over 2,000 likes for this one. I appreciate it in advance. Now let's talk about Black Clover chapter 296, The Holy War Maiden. So the chapter starts off where we see Noelle looking so angelic, ready to face off against Vanica. And Vanica, she's getting chills from this because she knows that Noelle is on a whole different level now. And I gotta say Noelle's form, I loved it in the beginning, but it's really grown on me to the point where this might become one of my favorite forms in the series because the wings really make her look like a true Valkyrie now. The halo felt unnecessary to me. I thought Tabata was trying to be fancy, but I'm starting to like it. I dig it. We then see Vanica use her blood magic creating a beast pack. This is the most we ever seen her use. She usually only used one, but with 100% devil powers, now she can use many. And this is no problem with Noelle. We seen how powerful those red beasts were in the beginning in the Heart Kingdom, and that was just one. Now she's summoning multiple clones of them, and Noelle is going to them one by one, destroying them with no effort. That was just easy target practice for Noelle right there. And the way that she's moving in the air, it somewhat put me in the mind of Yuno using his Spirit Hush dance, so when I seen that panel, I instantly thought about Yuno. Now, of course, Vanica gets excited about this because she's like, wow, Noelle is really different than we last fought in the Heart Kingdom. However, Real, <laughs> Real is also excited and shocked by Noelle's power. He is amazed by this. However, Real looks like a goofball because Charlotte is still hanging there in pain and agony while this guy is spectating the fight, screaming out, wow, Noelle, you're amazing. This part of the chapter really pissed me off. Like, Real is such a doofus. Like, I don't understand him sometimes. He's so immature. Like, you are so inspired by the fight, but you should be inspired by taking Charlotte down. Like, what are you thinking? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if next chapter Charlotte goes off on Real, bringing up why he didn't take her down sooner with that scary look on her face. But yeah, Real Real had a dumb moment right here. <laughs> now, Undine says something very intriguing right here. She said, we can't afford to be slow. We need to defeat Vanica under one minute. And Noelle said that she would defeat her in 30. So this lets us know that Noelle's spirit die form has a limit. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not surprised by this because Noelle, she had to learn ultimate magic on top of the fact spirit die form within a few days, whereas Yuno had a week and some days before the tournament to practice his spirit die form to actually master it. So Noelle did not have the proper time to really master this form yet on top of learning two things at once in a few days. Noelle really didn't have time. So I actually understand this whole point. Also with Asa's Devil Union form, he as well did not have a lot of time. So it makes sense. He also has a time limit as well. However, when it comes to Yuno, Yuno is just on a whole different level when it comes to practicing powers and maintaining that power without a restriction. And he's loved by Mana, so. <laughs> That is that. Now, as the fight continues on, Noelle is overwhelming Vanica. You really see that she can't keep up like that. She's dodging a little bit, but only by a hair. But Vanica is still taking damage, even though Real did explain that Charlotte's Briar magic is still having some effect to her curse magic. This pretty much gives Noelle even more of an edge. Vanica is losing this fight and she's loving it because it reminds her of a certain someone, a thrill that she had when she fought someone else before which is Asia Silva. During the time right after Vanica got possessed by Migikila, she heard a rumor of a woman who was the strongest and she was resting in hiding. Which makes me think, why was Asia hiding when she had Noelle as a baby and also Nozelle? Where was the father? Who was she hiding from? And that is a whole different topic for a different day because trust me, this chapter review will go on for 20 to 30 minutes if I talk about how sus the Silver family is. This video will turn into a Tekken 101 type beat that will probably go on for an hour, trust me. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that for a whole different video. Now, going back to this thrill that Vanica was having when she was fighting Noelle, we see the flashback of Asir Silva, and Vanica and Asir are both bloody. They took a lot of damage in this fight. You can tell this fight been going on for a little bit. 
and in the distance, you see Nozelle holding Noel, and Vanica goes to them to try to use them as hostage to handicap Aesir Silva. Now, we now know the backstory when Vanica said that, yeah, I took some kid as hostage and Asir got really strong because of that. We all thought that maybe that kid was just some random kid or that had to be Nozelle because we all thought that Asir got cursed when she was pregnant with Noel. However, that's not the case. Even though some people are confused because of the anime, this was an anime only scene. We seen Mario Leona. She was showing concern about Asir going back to the battlefield. People misinterpret this because they thought that she was showing concern because Asir was going to die. However, no, this chapter completely debunks that. And two, in this chapter, we see that Asier was hiding from something. So clearly this has to be connected to why she was hiding to begin with. Something was happening within the Clover Kingdom during the time when Noel was born, she had to hide. However, I believe that Mario Leona was only showing concern right here because Asia is having so many kids and she's still risking her life as a magic knight. So people that's going around saying that, oh, this is a plot hole in the story because we all thought that Noelle was in the wound when she got cursed. Well, the chapter debunks that. It's just we all were led to believe that she was cursed while Noelle was in the wound, but that didn't happen. So yeah, no plot holes. So if that was the case, theoretically, Noelle would have been cursed as well. Asir sees that Vanica is with Nozelle holding baby Noelle. She screams out their names and she says that I will show you what it means to be truly the strongest in the world. And that is a mother protecting their child. And we see that her grimoire glows and her form changes. She gets wings that looks like Saint Stage of Noelle, even though that she is in spirit possessed. However, this form did some damage to Vanica because soon as she got in this form, she charges in and stabs Vanica right in the stomach. And immediately that's when Megikula used curse wording magic and when he used this spell, Asier was inside the spell and that's how she got cursed. However, Vanica had to run away because it was stated that Asier left a fatal blow and she had to retreat. So without being arcane, she was able to damage a devil host to the point where they had to run away. Now, remember when Lord Pachico was talking about irregular magic and arcane magic, spatial magic and steel magic was one of the few that she mentioned. And steel magic is what Asir used. So it's possible that she has, of course, irregular magic and that irregular magic had the ability to damage devils, which means she has so much magic power in her steel magic that it was arcane just by default because it was already a irregular type. So based off the information we know about arcane magic and that steel magic is also in that category of a irregular type, I can confidently say that Asir Silva having steel magic was definitely arcane based off what Lord Chica had explained. Now, as the fight is ending, you see that Vanica used her red beast again against Noelle, against her Sea Dragon's War, because last time she did that, the Sea Dragon's War got destroyed. However, it devoured her red beast. The dragon was so huge, it looked amazing. And we see in the distance, Noelle is inside the dragon, flying out with a sword. The chapter ends with Noelle sword impelling Vanica. Now, to be honest with you, I definitely would have preferred if Noelle, if she got an extra weapon, it would have been a spear because it makes more sense where a lance evolves into a spear. However, with a sword, it's still very cool. This makes Asta with swords, you know with swords, and now Noelle with swords. So we got to see a sword battle between these three. It will be dope. However, I love this chapter. Everything about it, the flashback, the sword of Noelle, the sea dragon, she's flying out of it. It was epic. It was epic. And also the extra background that Nozel was actually there when he seen his mother get cursed. That just puts more importance to the story. The importance of that is just as significant. Just like if you subscribe to the channel with notification bells on, you will see videos from me right into YouTube feed. That's very important. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you guys have awesome life. Take care of yourselves. Stay blessed. And I'm out.